the New York Yankees versus the Boston Red Sox. It was the top of the 12th inning at Yankee Stadium in the Bronx, and the Sox put in Trot Nixon to pinch it after Mark Bellhorn popped out the second. There ever was a spot for Nomar Garcia Parra. You thought maybe it would have been when Bellhorn was up there with runners at first and third and only one out. Trot Nixon looped the ball towards the left field stands. One, two. He loops out the left field. Going to be a tough play. Yankee shortstop Derek Jeter was determined to get the out. Jeter on the run makes the play. Wow. And flies into the stands. This rivalry was too strong and too intense to even let one run score. Oh, what a play by Derek Jeter. Jeter's determination did not come without injury as he left the house that Ruth built with the bruised face, bloody chin, swollen cheek, and the bruised shoulder. Wow, Jeter really yeah, banged himself he, up. Wow. I think he caught the, you could see the redness in his face. He oh, caught yeah. the WICR, I'm Roberto Ayala. W-I-C-R. What's up, everyone? GT Sports back. Here we're going to be jumping to European soccer, starting off with Serie A, the Italian league. All right. Um, looks like there's nothing new here. You know, this is in first place. <laughs> <laughs> why, why is that so funny? Why are you laughing about that? No, it's just true. It just it hurts as... Uh, not being a Juventus fan, it's just like you know, going yeah. into the week they'll be in first place. Yeah, you know? uh, they're ahead by five points with uh, Roma and AC Milan tied, yep. uh, tied for second right now. Uh, goal difference: Roma is ahead by five goals. But we're not gonna get into that. We're gonna go into uh, Saturday's game: Juventus playing uh, against Udinese. Yep. Um, yeah, I mean it was actually a tight game. Udinese ended up striking first, but uh, yeah, they didn't. Juve didn't play to their to their best ability. Um, yeah. but they still managed to get a win, which is I mean, the usual. I'm not gonna lie, Juventus have been winning a lot of close games. But yeah. I mean that's that's the way they play. I mean they're just uh, as, as you can say they're more of a defensive. Dybala team. scored two two goals. Yep, you know, he scored, he did he very well. Goals. I think a free kick and a PK. So I mean, it's it's great to know that it's great to know that uh, as a Juventus fan that uh, Higuain isn't the only striker yeah. that we're gonna have to be. He didn't play on. at all. Exactly. I mean, this is well. This actually, he came in but didn't really, didn't score. But. Right. I mean, this is the point though. I mean, you you have Paulo Dybala, which is a completely reliable guy. I mean, he, what is he? Twenty two. He's 20. young. He's, he's, he's a, I think he's, he's like twenty two. He's a young Argentinian. I uh, I love the guy. I mean, this guy this guy's absolutely incredible. He's the future of the national team and Juventus until he, if he leaves. Ho- we'll hopefully see. he's the future of Juventus. Maybe yeah. maybe the next Del Piero, you never know. Um Yeah, they're sitting at twenty one points. Let's just let me talk about Napoli Roma real quick. <laughs> let me get this out of the way. Um This is gonna <sighs> be hysterical. All right. Napoli lost at home at the San Paolo three to one against Roma, which was Absolutely horrific. I am so glad I was at work and didn't see this game, but I just looked at the highlights afterwards. The first two goals were horrible defensive mistakes. Um, and with the loss, Napoli drops down to f- tie in f- with fourth and fifth place with Lazio. We literally have the same goal differential. We're both at 14 points. We're two points behind Roma and Milan, and now seven behind Juventus. So that kind of destroys our hopes at at first place at all. And now we're going to have to battle back for second. I mean... You can look at Roma, AC Milan, or Napoli. Uh, if any, any like you can't. Really, I don't see any other teams. I mean, I mean. Oh yeah, no, I, they're gonna battle it out. And yeah. I, you know, Ro- Napoli can still get back to second place. Don't get me wrong, because Roma and Milan have been choking the last few seasons. So I, I can see it happening again. But, I mean, but they're good teams. Wh- let's so. let's do take in consideration that it is still. I mean, October. Yeah, it's very know, early. So we're not even going into we're winter eight break games yet. In, yeah. yeah, it's not even. It's just halfway to winter. Break. I was just shocked because it's Napoli's it's defense is usually decent, and Koulibaly, he he's like wanted by Chelsea. He's 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 a good young defender. He's gonna be very good, and he's gonna be one of the top center backs. And he made the worst mistake. You know, he was dribbling around, trying to be all technical, tried to try to get by Salah, and Salah takes the ball away from him. Kind of out muscled him, and Salah's a small guy compared mm-hmm. to Kulibaly, who's a big guy, and swings it over to Jekko, and Jekko slots it home. The second goal, you have Husai, who's a short, he's a shorter um, defender, he's a right back against Jekko, who's tall. You know, he, he's a very, he has a big stature, and he's just standing there, and Husai is like on his back. It's like a piggyback ride. You look at it, and Jekko heads it in. You know, and not get one back with Kulibaly and a header. Four minutes after that, it's two one, and then. They have to put everyone forward, and it looks like they're going to attack, and they're going to try to get back into the game. And now what happens? They get caught out on a counterattack. Salah slots at home. It's 3-1, and then goodbye. All right. I mean, to close it off with Napoli, I mean, it's just so, they have a lot of holes to fix. I know they I mean, they The Milik play. injury is really tearing the team apart. Torres right. ACL, he's going to be out for at least four or five months. Right. You know? Gabbiadini is not meant for a striker, it seems like, and it's just tough. Yeah, I mean— 
that loss to Roman, I mean, it just, it just dropped them back to fourth place. Yeah. And, you know, it's Roman, not the end of the world, I mean, but... They're still only two uh, two points back. Yeah, I mean, not we the end of the world, but it's tough. We shouldn't even be thinking about how it's like it's like a, a race for second. I mean, there's still a, there's still huge hope for uh, first place. I know it's only five. I mean, it's just, what, two games for five points. Yep. I mean, it is very hard to say, though. I mean, Venice holding only one loss. I mean, you're looking at a completely sacked team now. I mean, it seems that Juventus, when they seem to have like a like you know a problem, with like where like Bonucci might be leaving the team sooner or later. But I mean, it's it's not even that because they might get Chess Fabregas, which is like they're gonna fill the holes. They're gonna, you yeah, know they're, they're gonna, gonna fill, fill the holes. holes. I mean, they spend it's... the money that that they want to spend. They do it the right way. They're smart. They're it's... they're good business wise. They know what to do. They're gonna replace everyone. Yeah, and then you look at Rugani, which is another great center. Yeah, Rugani's back. on the bench, and he's he'd, he'd be a star yeah, on er, any an other Serie A team. Incredible replacement. I mean, this oh. guy eventually, very very soon, will be a starter. And I mean, it's he's a perfect replacement for Bonucci, or if Chess Fabregas comes in sooner or later. Yep. Uh, other than that, I mean, it's pretty cool to say that AC Milan ended up having a very great week. I mean, yeah, we can note out that Inter Milan is having a terrible, terrible, yeah, not terrible, but, you know, they're struggling, and they're down at 11 points. Yeah, and Icardi. Icardi uh, and the fans are not on the same page. Yep, the ultras definitely tore him a new one. Uh, you can't, I mean, it, I don't even see this guy being, like, the right choice for captaincy. You know what I mean? It's just, yeah, I, I never really understood how he got captaincy. He should, he's actually so young, and I don't know where it came by after Zanetti left, and this he's the captain. You know, I, I, I don't know. I mean, he's he's a great goal scorer, but I also consider him an over, you know, like a completely overrated striker. Oh, I, I mean, Tom, I totally agree with you because Napoli was linked to him all transfer window, and it's like, oh yeah, we're right. gonna it's we're almost, gonna pay him 60, 60 mil. It's, it's almost like why would you ever want to dodge this Italian? Absolutely sh- not. Mean, he's he he slots home goals. Like he's just, he's a poaching striker for me. Like he finishes in in the box, but like he, he I don't see him creating anything. You know, I, not as not as much as other strikers like Higuain when Napoli had him. I don't know. I just don't see him as as I know what the money I mean, that it's they just, put him at. It, yeah, I kind of, I kind of, I don't see him to be more of a captain for the team. But I mean, you should also consider that the team is kind of just having the whole team's having a complete downfall. Yeah. I mean, it's just seems like anyone they buy doesn't turn out well yeah. for them either. I mean, so. still they are just one. They actually are just one game back from fourth place. Yep. We're not pleased holding right now. Just, like you just said, we win. can't I get mean, ahead of ourselves. It's very it, early. It's, it's still early. I mean, teams still have to like you know like develop chemistry over time and stuff. Uh, but the other Milan team, AC Milan, I mean, they ended up having a great victory. Yeah, uh, they, they beat Kievo. Yeah, I mean, it's per- me personally, I, if I had to see a second place team, I would be AC Milan. This this team's, I, <laughs> they're beautiful. I mean, like this. Yeah, I, I would, I want them to do well be- for the spirit of this of the Serie A because they're a legendary team. They're known as one of the always the highest teams. They they come to America every off season and mm-hmm. people go watch them. So to see them. Fall to fifth, sixth, seventh place in the past few pa- uh, past few years. You know, it, it's 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 terrible. You want them to do well. You want them to, re- you know, put that reputation back in their name for being a a good good team. Right. So if they if they're contending the top three all year long, top four, whatever, that is great for the league. Yeah, I'm personally happy about that. I mean. I, I just love to see Juventus, Roma, AC Milan, Napoli up top. I mean, I would love to see Inter Milan be a top three team too. I mean, they used to be what they be. Yeah, they, they won to, the they treble. Used to be a dynasty. They, I mean, they, they got just, the treble in like what 2010. So yeah, I mean, it's just like it's just not. I mean, obviously it's not the same Serie A as we're looking back ten years ago. But yep. I mean, it's just it's just great to see. I mean, as a Juventus fan, I mean they've been dominating for the past five years. Uh, there have been close calls with Roma, but I mean. It's just looking like another year where Juventus is going to take Serie A, and I kind of, as I mean, like, which I, I'm not, I'm don't get me, don't get like you know, don't get me wrong here. I mean, I want Juventus to win like every year, but I mean, you're looking at a completely. I mean, I'm not going to say a one team league. I mean, you can't call a one team league because even though like like you know, like look at Bayern. Uh, I mean, I'm not going to put into Barcelona. Let's just compare it to Bayern. I mean, Bayern wins, but he's been winning the Bundesliga since what? Like what? Like they're on like a five, six year win streak yeah, right now. Well, they're always first and second if they're not first, but they're usually right. first. I mean, it's it's same thing happened with Inter Milan, Syria, but I mean. You never know. I, I just want Serie A to have a nice bounce back. I understand. I mean, you want it to be more competitive. Right. And it's, it's turning it's, out to it's, be it's, that it's, way. It's, I'm not saying it's not competitive. I yep. mean, it is competitive for a second-place standard. I mean, Juventus has – I mean, they did take a loss, but, I mean yeah. – Well, I'm glad still. as a UA fan that you're saying that you want them to compete harder. Right. Like, ha- have to compete harder for the, for right. the title. I mean, you're looking at as, – as we're going to go back, Roma's in second, AC Milan in third, Napoli in fourth, you know, Inter Milan all the way back down. I'm not, not going to mention Lazio fifth. I mean, I I mean, I mean, know they're going to be a top-ten team no matter what, maybe top-eight. But, yeah. I mean, I'm not I'm not really huge with Lazio ever. 
Uh, Inter Milan, once again, in 11th place. But, I mean, they can easily bounce back. It's just, like I said, yeah, three-point differential early. for fourth. We'll uh, see what happens. We'll, we'll head over, you know, we'll talk about that next week. Uh, we're going to head over to the Premier League yeah, now. Yeah, we're going to shift to the England, England Premier League now and yep. see what the, the most, standings are. The most interesting and competitive league, I feel, in uh, Europe. But Man City, is, uh, they're still holding first place, but they are tied with Arsenal right now, 19 points apiece. They're ahead by goal differential by one goal. Um. Yeah. I mean, it's this is was expected. You know. I mean, everybody. I. I still believe that Manchester City will take the Premier League, yeah. even though they've they've been tied. struggling though the past few games. They have. They, what they tied Everton this weekend. They tied Everton. They and lost. They the lost week the week before. before. Yeah. So you I mean, know that halted their perfect streak and it, it I mean, got Arsenal more, back. Into yeah. It, so. One more wrong move by Man City. I mean, they're going to be a little out of form here. But yeah. I mean, and you're looking at Arsenal, which is absolutely tearing it apart. I mean. Liverpool, Everything's clicking for them. I mean, so. if I if I really had to pick a team that goes like you know right behind Manchester City, I wouldn't doubt that it would be Liverpool. I mean, Chelsea Chelsea's obviously another one. I mean, Chelsea's completely clicking. You also have to consider that it's funny how like I I get that Liverpool's down three goals in goal differential, uh, and they still have that like, one game to play against uh, Manchester United to, uh, yep. today. It was actually, what time is that going on? It should be going on right now, I believe. Right? What time is it now? It's two fifty now. So yep, it looks like probably five minutes ago, right? Started yeah, or three yeah, o'clock. Um, so uh, very soon. I can't wait. Not, I can't wait after this show to be uh, watching that game. I'm definitely be like staying tuned. Uh, yeah, I mean, let's actually talk about that game right now. Liverpool versus Manchester United. Yeah, you um, expected Man United to be in the top five right now. Oh, They're in seventh at that's 13th. Like, that's exactly what I thought Manchester United would be top five. I mean, which they could be. You never know. Uh, I mean, by the end of the season, yeah. But yeah. you'd expect them to have a better start to the but year. I'm looking at I'm looking at a game where I don't even – I mean, there's a lot of you know, speculation with, like, Wayne Rooney right now. I mean, mm-hmm. he's, there's a lot of criticism. And I believe the game is going to be played at Anfield, right? I think Liverpool's home. Liverpool's home, Should yeah. Be. So, I mean – I personally see, if anything, Manchester United, like, the best outcome for them is to grab a tie against Liverpool. Yeah, I don't, they need a point at least. Of course, but I, I honestly see the victory going to Liverpool here 2-0. I don't I don't really see much from Manchester United this game. And I you said it. Liverpool, uh, win for Liverpool puts them tied for th- for first with three teams now. Yep, so. and if they, I mean, somehow they do dominate, then they could take first, which is, I, I'm, I'm not going to call that, like, you know, a big factor. Yeah, in the it's premier. refreshing to see them play better than usual. Yeah, I mean, this is well, pr- this is probably one of the best Liverpool teams I've seen since like you know the Luis Suarez days. I love Coutinho. Like he's honestly, Coutinho is very impressive. I, mm-hmm. I, he's he's becoming one of those best players. Honestly, he's he's having a great season. Yeah, um, I, it's just it's so hard to predict the Premier League these days. I mean, I mean <laughs> these days, like I, yeah, like I said, like, like last year yeah. when you have Leicester City and now they're horrific. Like they they're literally yeah. I mean, points. you're looking at 13th place Leicester City now. They've I mean, lost four. It's I mean, you could say it's surprising, but at the same time, I mean, you're looking at a team that was you know like they were they were not in the Premier League two years ago. I mean, yeah. you can only expect so much. I mean, they do have like they did lose uh, like a couple key. It players was here a true there. Cinderella story. It was. It really true. Was. I mean, it's it's great to see those things, but uh. I mean, it, it's com- it looks like it's coming back to like the uh, you know the original top five right now. Manchester City, Arsenal, I mean, Tottenham, Tottenham. I, I mean, they used they used to not be the original, but I mean, Manchester United yeah. used to be in there. But I mean, Tottenham still you know they're just one point back from first. Uh, and hey, take a look at the bottom of the table, and you see West Ham in fifteenth right now with yeah. seven points. And West Ham was a decent team last year with. Uh, you know, Payet and everything. Well, I mean, so. they hit what? They hit like fourth, fifth place, sixth place. Yeah, right, fifth place, there. something like that. Something they like have that. they have European football. I think they're in the Europa League, mm-hmm. and you know they have Payet and, and things like that. They have <laughs> Zadza from Juventus now, yep. but he doesn't even play. So I don't know what's going on with that. I mean, it's just soccer is a very unpredictable sport. I mean, you can you can go, even go back to Champions League. How I mean, yeah, Leicester City's group is not. I mean, they're not that good, but. I mean, they're what Leicester yeah. City. I mean, they're well, that's their only consolation that they're winning and they're somehow winning in Champions League. They're they're keeping their their Champions League Champions League hopes alive. So, mm-hmm. I mean, they should be happy about that. No, it's 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 very hard to talk about the Premier League. I mean, you're, look, it's it's I feel like it's just very scattered. I mean, it could really go anyway. Yeah, I mean, Everton under the radar right now, fifteen. You know, they're a decent team. They have Lukaku. Yeah, and things they're like not that. they're not bad at all. Not bad. They're they're still in there. So. I mean, the draws are just holding them back right now. I mean, it's just but it's whatever. I mean, they're still grabbing the points. Yeah, at least you you, you get to see those. Usual top teams, they are in the like the top eight are the top eight teams usually. So it's good to see at least there's some consistency. You don't you don't see a Chelsea like last year in 15th place. You know in the start of the season. Right. So other than that, uh, Liverpool Manchester United, which is currently happening right now. Uh, yeah, I mean it's gonna be a great game. Uh, I mean, what do you think about that outcome right now? If I, if Liverpool's home, I feel like they'll get the victory, but I I think Man U's gonna just try to get at least a point you know I don't think they're going to set the obviously every team sets their mind on on a win right everyone strives for three points but with the way things are going and Liverpool being hot I think you 
you need to get at least a tie. It's gonna but, be it's gonna be a very offensive but, game. You know, I mean, Man U looks a little shaky sometimes on defense. So you know, Coutinho can maybe work some mag- magic and make something happen. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing really much to talk about here. Uh, yeah, we can't really tell. What's yeah, going we on. can't. I mean, <laughs> we. I mean, it's it's gonna be a close game, but I still do believe Liverpool will, like will definitely pull through uh, against Manchester United. Yep. Other than that, uh, Liverpool's win will make them tied with first place against uh, Manchester City and Arsenal, and you know, Tottenham will stay third uh, or fourth place. My my apologies for that. Uh, all right, GT Sports out. Yeah, we'll, be we'll come back, back next week. We'll have the Champions League because yep. we have that this week. So we'll talk about that next we, show. We'll be introducing that subject. Uh, yep. Other than that, I'll see you guys. Thank you guys. We'll see you guys next Monday to two o'clock. Peace out, guys.